A couple of months ago, we took my brother and sister-in-law camping and they fell in love with the RV lifestyle. So in this video, we meet them at a local RV show and share with you the secrets to buying an RV. Now this is the first video in a series of videos that will cover things such as buying an RV, shopping for an RV, financing your RV and negotiating for your RV. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can be notified when the next video comes out. Because we have a lot of good information coming up for you. And so let's go ahead and get started. And this is part of the first step that you do when you're looking for an RV. When you first start, you have no idea what you want. So coming to a show is a great opportunity to learn. This is the first one. And this is my we second love one. Carolyn? This is number two. Number two? What do you think? I love it. What do you love about it? Well, it's, well, it's, it's very not, roomy. It's very roomy. It's very nice. Very stylish. Um, it's not as big as yours, but I'm not looking for one that big. As just being our first one. I was thinking about getting one I could put on the back of a truck, but if I could find one where I could drive myself, that would make life a whole lot easier. This is called the Class C RV. Yeah. Class C RV. Now, what's the difference, sir, between yeah. Class C and another class? Is there a Class B and <laughs> Class D? Yes, so Class Bs are vans. And Class A's are like the type of motorhome that we have. They kind of sit up high, almost up like a, a bus, right? Okay. Not yeah. looking for something that big. So I'm staying with a Class C or a Class B. Now, something really important to note is that your Class C's will a lot of time cost a lot less than a Class B. So if you look at the price of this right here, this one's $84,000. A Class B is going to cost you $100,000 or more. Even though it's a van. For a smaller one. For a smaller one. That okay. makes absolutely no sense. Because they're more convenient, they can go anywhere. Yeah, so makes sense. Yes, but you're going to want to have a car if you go to a campground with this. Oh, yes. Makes sense. Class B, you can pack it up and take it with you. Okay. Now, this is where your storage is down here. See there? And here is your bumper, but it's also where you keep what they call your stinky slinky. So that hose that the poop goes through, you store it in here so it doesn't smell up everything. Now, I noticed though that there's really nothing, if I wanted to bring bikes, something like that, there's nothing to really hook them up to. You can, this has a hitch, and you can put them on the hitch. Which means an extra trailer. Or, no, if you want just a bike, you can just get a hitch. Like, you can get a bike rack, like you have right now, that hooks into the hitch. Oh, okay. Yes, you can do that. Or if you're towing a car, if this has enough towing capacity, you can put your bike rack on your car yeah, and put the bikes on the car and then tow the car. How do you feel with it? Well, we have lots of different models we want to show you. This is just our first. We're going to see others. Yep. Let's take a look. So this, the first thing, if you want to get a travel trailer or a fifth wheel, you need to look at the weight. And I don't see the weight on here on the outside, so we can probably find it on one of the stickers on the inside. Okay. But let's go inside. Can't hurt to take a look at it. Dry weight is 7,454 pounds. That'll handle it. So, if you're trucking, you have to check the truck and see if it can handle it. Come on in. I think you're going to like the setup of these. This is nice. Yes. Yeah, this is really nice. Yeah. Oh, wow. I like this one. Okay. Don't, no, 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 just don't open, open it. it. Just, just sit. 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 Yeah. Okay. Sit on the toilet. Oh, and then it definitely. Yeah, you might think it's a little bit weird that my brother went in to sit on the toilet, right? But when you're looking at these RVs, you have to try everything out to make sure that it's comfortable and that it fits your needs. So yes, you go in, you sit in the toilet, you see if you have enough room to do your business. You go into the shower, make sure you have enough elbow room to kind of lather up and do everything you need to do. Don't forget the height. If you're tall, you can hit the <laughs> ceiling on a lot of those bathrooms, right? Oh yeah, right? they're really short. You want to try out the bed, you want to sit on the couch, right? You want to open up the oven, open up the fridge, open up the pantry because you want to make sure that you're comfortable with where everything is located and you're comfortable where you're going to be sitting, where right. you're going to be living, and where you're this is called a jackknife bed. You'll either have with these couches a jackknife bed or a pullout bed. Like you, you have your house, you have a pullout bed from a couch, or you have this. Yes. Yep. Those are two types of beds. Did you see they have the fireplace? Yes. And you have to pull from the top. Ah, there we go. There you go. 
This is nice. Yeah, the fireplace. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, there's only two people here. Yeah. This is a bunk. This guy's a bunk room. Yeah. Things get broken in shows all the time. This is another bed here. That's another whole other bed. Oh, another bed. Oh, wow. Another. So you can sleep one, but these Those are kids. children. Those yeah, are kids. Yeah, children. Yeah. yeah. Adults are down here. Yeah. Oh, Jay. Yeah. That's your pantry. More gas nice stove. Now. See, I like these. Is this a convection oven? Like this. Open it up. Let's see. Separate. Is this one has a regular oven, right? Oh, no. It's a regular microwave. Yeah. This yeah. yeah. has an oven. It has, this one has an oven. Yep. Uh -huh. Yep. This All right. Well, these days and times, nobody can get a day without looking at a laptop or, you know, looking at your phone or whatever. Yeah. How would you set up Wi-Fi with a place like this? Um, so a lot of um, campgrounds will have internet. If they don't, you can use your cell phone as a hotspot. When I was in your camp, and we were able to watch off the because we have like one of those Wi-Fi. What are those? I think of it as called. It's a hotspot. We have a jetpack jet pack by Verizon. Will something like that be able to be used in here? Yes. Yeah, that's why we bought it. Cool. Yeah. Yep. Well, I like this one, but I don't like it as much as I like the other. Oh, right, let's look at some more. Okay. Yeah, let's go. This is about four hundred. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice. small, but it's still nice. smaller, but it's still nice, though. This is yeah. there. This is very nice. So this is about forty-three hundred pounds. Wow. Yeah. This is nice. So this pops truck. Pops truck could pull this. Yeah. Pops truck could pull this. Okay. Yeah. You like that back window? <laughs> oh yeah. It's nice. This is, this is a bed. This mm -hmm. makes a bed here. Okay. And, and where's the bathroom? The bathroom is right here. It's pretty tight. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Carolyn, you like the sink? Yeah. I do like the yeah. yeah. Once you close the door on this. Goodbye. Darn, yeah. Close the door. Yeah. <laughs> I like this one. And then you don't have a door. You only have a curtain. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, curtain. Yeah, we really don't. Yeah. Okay about that. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it doesn't have to have doors. Or You should look for that too. Yeah. Excuse me? <laughs> Hi. See, I like this one too. The next question I have, what are the outside costs? You see an RV for $800 a month. Okay, but you know there's something else that's gonna come with it. I mean, we're talking insurance, we're talking I don't know, title, tags, whatever, whatever are the, what are the extra costs that come along with these things? So that's a really good question, Darren, right? Because when you get an RV, a lot of people forget that you need to have RV insurance. And RV insurance isn't like car insurance. Like, you have to be careful who you pick to do, to, to, to write that policy for you because not everybody understands RVs. Uh-huh. Right, so that there are certain things because you're gonna have your personal property in that RV. And if you just get a regular policy, like you're maybe you're you know maybe you're with Allstate or whoever, they may not include that as a part of replacement fee if something happens to your RV, like let's say it catches on fire or it gets broken into. Okay, thanks. You want to look at it payment-wise, like how much you can afford and what percentage of your income it is. But you also want to make sure that um, you're not just looking at how much per month because if you go up to a dealer and say I only want to pay this much a month, well they'll make sure that you're paying that much a month. A month. You may not need to. Exactly. So we're gonna be smart. Exactly. Well that's. That's why you're here. So guys, do you think that coming to the show was helpful in helping you decide what kind of RV you wanted? Actually, coming to the show was a great idea. We appreciate you bringing us here because this this is really something else. I had no idea it was this big. I had no idea that these many people. We saw a lot of that this morning. You care? Yes. What advice would you give to someone who's RV shopping? Wear very comfortable shoes. <laughs> Um, no, seriously, take your time, figure everything out. You may seem like, may seem like you're looking at all the same things, but you're not. Everything has this little different characteristic. Some that you may like, some that you may not. Um, personally, there are a few in here that I've seen that I've, I, I really do like, but don't rush into it. We're looking now, but this is our first step. Long journey. Hopefully this time next year, We'll be good to go.
I hope we're camping together. Carolyn, you got yes, any advice? I, I did all what um, Darren said, and um, I'm looking forward to camping. Yay! <laughs> my brother and my sister-in-law asked some really great questions during their RV shopping yeah, experience. They did. And we hope that you've learned a lot from this video. And if you want to see more videos about the RV buying experience, please don't forget to hit subscribe, hit that like button, and hit the notification bell so that you know when they're coming up next. And if you're new to RVing and you want to learn more about the different types of RVs, check out this video right here. As always.